Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. Today is day 21 of the Death Mode Let's Play, and in today's episode, well, I'm going to be trying to take down Providence. Now, with these big, extremely hard Death Mode bosses, there will come an episode where I won't be able to beat it and we'll do an entire episode on a boss. Hopefully that's not that today, but I just want to warn you guys, if you haven't seen Season 1 or Season 2, this does happen post Moon Lord, so I just want to warn you. So yesterday I said some things in my episode, and I'm really glad I didn't. I wasn't too over dramatic with them because I said a few things I got wrong, and you guys corrected me straight away. So I, I actually really appreciate that. The first one was this part about Providence. So I said I hate that you have to be the profound guardians every time you want to fight Providence. Not true. You guys actually pointed this out to me. You have to slay this five times and then you can make an item that will actually allow you to summon providence all you want so i'm really thankful you pointed that out to me because i would have just carried on not knowing that and then the other one was i had a providence that despawned and i was very upset about it i was, I was really annoyed now this was actually because it turned to night time now i still think that's stupid to be honest the fact that you have to fight it during the day is a little bit silly considering you're fighting it in hell anyway it doesn't really actually make any sense to me, to be honest. But now we know, and we can actually set it to daytime every time we fight it using the Cosmolite, so it's an easy fix. So I actually went ahead and farmed the Profound Guardians, so I can now make the core. Here we go. The Profound Core. So you need to fight it five times, and then you get one version that is not consumable. I didn't read that, I'll be honest. Now, when I was actually fighting the Profound Guardians, I want to, I want to show you how much money I made. Look at this. 139 platinum that's off for five kills and it was a little bit more than that i actually reforged um one of my accessories oh the the sephra tracers I, I changed it to menacing so yeah right so we're going to be doing boss fights all day today uh how i like to do this is i want to do it silent and i'll show you guys my winning kill my voice is awful like it feels awful still i've had this cold now for a couple of days and each day i have like a new thing that's worse than me and today, I'm getting like a cough and a chesty throat, and it and it feels pretty grim. But I want to tell you a fun little story as we fly down. Uh, so, I find people that fall down the stairs pretty funny, right? Obviously, if it's serious, that's awful, right? But falling down the stairs is one of the most goofiest things to look at. So, yesterday, because of I, I've had these blocked ears for a couple of days, my balance has been really off. Like I've been taking like steps where I shouldn't and stuff. And I went to walk down the stairs, and wouldn't you know it, I slipped down my own stairs, like, all the way to the bottom. Now, I did it by, like, falling feet first, so I had to use my arms to, like, stop me. So I looked like a little bobsled going down these steps. I've actually got, like, carpet burns on either side of my arms. And it honestly was the most goofy-looking thing. It, it was pretty brilliant, really. But, yeah, there you go. There's my little dumb story. And uh, I'm going to fight Providence now, and I'm going to do it silent. And you guys are going to see a winning kill, hopefully. And if I do it a few times and I just don't win at all... We'll do some, like, little commentary and we'll do some other stuff. So it won't be too boring. And, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to get into it and I'll see you guys at the end.
All right, there we go. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, actually. That was, um, what was that? Attempt number three? Yeah, attempt number three. Not bad. Pretty proud of myself there. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was all right. It wasn't bad. Um, yeah, essentially, every time I fought it, I was like, yeah, I kind of get this. So what? So obviously, attempt number one was yesterday. And obviously, I was just testing the waters. And then for attempt number two, I like I was testing the waters, but I also kind of got hit a few times. And then for number three, I did it, boy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so, uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting that to end so quickly. That's a pretty easy fight, I'm not going to lie. The only thing that's actually tricky, well, the only thing for me, was those chicken balls, essentially, they could kind of mess you around when you were trying to, like, move uh, past it, essentially, because they have a little charge attack at the end of their little health bar. So, yeah, not bad. So, what did we get? We got the Elysian Agis. Fantastic. One sec, I'm just going to quickly wipe my nose. Oh, I feel ill. Right, grants immunity to fire blocks and not back, plus 100 max life to increase life regen. Grants a supreme holy dash, can be used to ramp enemies. Press N to activate buffs to all damage, crit chance, and defense. Activating this buff will do, reduce your movement speed and increase enemy aggro. Toggle visibility of this accessory to enable slash disable the dash. So, so this is what we had here. 12% damage reduction when increased defense by 10 when below 25% life. Right, okay, cool. So this gives us an extra 100 life. We can dash. And then you can also enable it by pressing N. So if you click N, that's going to increase our damage, right? Let's see, 54. Wait, what is it? Press N to activate buffs to all damage, crit chance, and defense. Nope, don't work for me. Capital N, maybe? No, okay. All right, I'm going to need to set this in my options then. Let's see. Controls. Calamity Rage Mode. No. Elysian Guard. There we go. N. Is that working? Let's see. Oh, yeah. I see it putting my critical strike chance up. So, there it is. That's it working. All right. Cool. Kind of hard to tell if it's working or not, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I thought you had a little buff up here. But that's cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So, now we have to do Providence in the Hallowed, right? That's something that you have to do. I might give that a go then. Uh, so I'm going to basically go get ready. I need to like... I wasn't expecting to talk so quick. So I need to like clear up my nose and stuff. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll give this a go. All right, let's give it a go. So, let's buff up and begin. Right, let's see. Let's see what this is like during the uh, during the hallowed, at least. Oh, got hit there. Okay. Let's see. All right. The good thing is this top layer doesn't despawn it, so I'm happy about that. Let's try and loop back on ourselves. What I found was the best strategy for this fight was to actually build up a little bit of adrenaline for when the uh, for when the chicken balls arrive. Okay, have I got my adrenaline? Yep, I got my adrenaline. Awesome. So I'm not going to use that now to knock down the health. I'm literally going to use that on the chicken balls. Okay, not bad. Whoa. Oh, got hit there, but that's all right. Man, there's a lot of projectiles to dodge. Oh my god. Look at that. All right, let's get the chicken ball bit. All right, let's go. All right, chicken balls are down. Awesome. And we're back to, uh, we're back to killing Providence. Did that just get enraged? I think it did. Am I allowed to go up there without it enraging? I don't know if I am. Yeah, right. Not going so well, that one. So what I'll do is I'll do a silent fight now and try and get this one out the way. That's done as well. Not bad. So that one was actually harder for me than the one in hell because I didn't have my own arena and I would constantly keep taking this one out of biome. I don't know how much of that fight I'm going to show. It was a pretty simple fight, but um, I don't know if I want to show it again because it was the exact same fight as the one in hell. 
But yeah, I kept taking it out of biome, which is super annoying. So, we've got the Elysian wings now, which are excellent, apparently. So, let's see what they make. They're actually a recipe for something. Ah, they make the Elysian tracers. So, I actually need to... Well, I need to kill DOG first, which is going to be a little bit hard. So, okay. And then we've got two of these. So, let's see. we got the powerful Ballista Bombardio. Cool. Uh, we got the Purge Guzzler. Classic. Classic. Uh, we also got the Rune of Cos. Used to seal the Sentinels of the Cosmic Devourer. When used in certain areas of the world, it will unleash them. Okay. So we got Line Four's actual dev kit. We also got the Tolric Glare. Cool. I guess. I don't know what it does. Is it homing, maybe? Let's see the, uh, the DPS here. Ooh, not bad at all. Like, if I was to have a... Uh, Let's see, if I have to put that ranger emblem on, what would that do? Not bad, not bad. Let's see what the purge guzzler does. One sec, I'm covering up my DPS. Oh, wow, purge guzzler is amazing. Is it because it's close range, I guess? I guess it's not that close a range. The molten amputator. Ooh, very nice. So that's throwing. Is this one actually a... Uh... Oh, it's a mage weapon. Ah, okay, so what would it be if I... If I was to swap those over? Even higher. Okay, that's cool. Let's test out this one. Ooh, very nice. And I think that's about it, really. So we've got two Runa Coses. That's cool. Right, so I'm going to put away that, 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 that. All the stuff we don't ne need necessarily. Not yet. Ooh, the Holy Collider. Very cool. What's the DPS on that? Oh, wow. 20 28,000? Are you for real? What's this one? Oh my god. I guess you have to be close though, but that's cool. Right. <coughs> Shiny stone up. Swap over. Let's see. I can't remember this fight. Oh, okay. I remember this a little bit. Alright, so what do you have to do? Take out the, um, the little minions first? Oh, he's got a lot of projectiles. It's kind of like a bullet hell in here. It's kind of cool. Like I say, guys, we're just testing stuff today. I'm not going to take anything too seriously. Alright, so can I do damage now? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Every time you want to do damage, you have to take out more and more of these. I remember. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. Let's just keep looping around then. Yeah, chances of winning this fight are pretty slim because I'm kind of just, like, messing around. But I'm alright with that. Okay. Oh, wow. These literally do have so much damage. If I was to use some of these, would that help out? This would be a really good fight to actually have adrenaline on. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually get some adrenaline going. Oh, nice. That was a good little dodge there. Alright, let's try some adrenaline out. Okay, here we go. Right, how fast are they being killed now? Pretty fast, actually. Not bad. These are uh, these are more mini bosses, I know, if I remember correctly. Okay. Really? I got to do that much damage before more of these spawned? That's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember, if I'm honest with you guys, I remember not liking any of these bosses. These three bosses that we're about to do. Just for, like, various little nuisances. Like, I didn't find them very fun. I, I think that's what it was. I feel like this boss is a lot different than it used to be, though. Alright, I'm just going to keep using my uh, Purge Guzzler and circling around. Okay. Oh, got hit by the moron hook. Okay, okay. Right, can I do damage yet? How many is left? Oh, there's one there. Oh, okay. You literally, like, get to hit it for a second. Right, I'm going to keep circling around and just doing my thing. Okay. Right, let's time that right. How many did I get there with my adrenaline? Did I get a lot? Okay. 
Oh my god. Right, to save myself talking about this, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to, uh... I'm basically just going to flash forward a little bit, because this is getting kind of tedious. Alright, there we go. Not bad. So that's one of them down. Okay, what did I get? Did I get a, a treasure bag for it? Do you not get anything? You just get a sword. Okay. Is that is that what that's about? Getting the sword? Mirror blade. Okay. The amount of contact damage an enemy does is added to this weapon's damage. You must hit an enemy with the blade to trigger this effect. Consumes mana to fire mirror blasters. Okay, cool. It's a mana sword. I don't exactly know what it does. Like, that don't make too much sense to me, but cool. All right. All right. So I'm going to end it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We obviously did a lot today. Uh, I need to let my throat rest. So, you know, maybe it's a short episode. Maybe it's not. But uh, I just want to say thank you once again. I always like saying thank you because, honestly, to see the channel grow so quickly, like I mentioned the other day, we're growing by, like, hundreds of subscribers a day. We have thousands of new people watching every other day. It's so nice to see. It really is. So thank you, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time for Death Mode 22. Peace.